The challenges I see for leadership are fourfold. First, for big established companies across sectors. Many of these companies are part of the solution uh, to this problem of climate change. Uh, but for them to do that, they need to change and innovate, and that's challenging. In many cases, they may not be able to do it themselves. And that's where the second uh, challenge of leadership comes in from smaller companies, startups, many of which could from birth be green. Uh, they could be circular and things like that. So that's the second challenge. The third challenge comes in where neither big companies nor startups can make the necessary change and innovation. And that's a challenge for the government. The government needs to step in with creative uh, incentives and regulation. And the final challenge is for all of us, particularly those of us as consumers of the products and services that companies make. Uh, we can put pressure on companies, we can change our own behavior, and we can put uh, pressure on our leaders, our political leaders. There are many opportunities that the green transition in Asia can provide globally. Asia in some ways is at the epicenter of this whole challenge and therefore part of the solution. You see large populations that are still emerging out of poverty and therefore we see a very rapid growth at scale across the Asian continent. But that growth cannot come at the expense of the, climate, of the environment and the planet. That growth cannot happen in the way that the rich world got rich. It has to be done in a very climate sensitive and responsible way. That requires innovation, particularly the kind of innovation that I call frugal, that is being able to do more and better with less. And that, to some extent, ironically, also needs resources and investment. But more than anything, it needs ingenuity and commitment and perseverance over a period of time.